Hi there, I'm Stasia, Lead Educator for Grow with Google. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I know that our communities, our families, and friends are facing significant uncertainty around COVID-19 and the impact that it's having on our day-to-day -day lives. It also presents unique challenges for small businesses. So today, I'm gonna to offer some tips and recommendations that can help you update your information and communicate with your customers using your Google My Business profile. More than ever, it's important to have accurate and up-to-date information about your business operations, even if those operations are changing quickly. So today in the video, I'm going to show you how to update your information. I'm going to show you how to mark your business temporarily closed. I'll show you how to highlight timely updates using posts. I'll show you how you can add more managers who can help you manage your profile. And I'll show you where you can get more answers to your Google My Business questions. You can access your business profile or learn how to create a new account by visiting google.com slash business. If you prefer to use your mobile device, there's a Google My Business app available for both Android and Apple devices. It's free and you can download it at Google Play or the App Store. Let's look at an account. To get started, click Info in the navigation. If you're using your computer, it will be on the left side of the screen. If you're using a mobile device, select Profile at the bottom of the screen. First, if your business is temporarily closed, you have the option to let people know. Click the button labeled Mark as Temporarily Closed. That way the world will know that you aren't operating now, but you plan to be back soon. Next, take a fresh look at your business description, also found in the info section of the account. If your business is operating as usual, you might want to highlight that in the description. If your business is open, but the way you interact with customers has changed, you can explain how to get your products and services. And if your business is closed for now, you can update the description to let people know that you'll be back to business as soon as possible. If you adjusted your hours of operation, you can update that in the info section too. Okay, so I walked you through how to make updates in the info section. Let's look at how to make a post. When customers find your business on Google, they can see posts that will highlight news, events, and offers. Posts can be used to reflect the personality of your business or emphasize important changes. You could use posts to talk about precautions that your business is taking, which products and services are available right now, and whether or not customers can expect delays. Let's look at a few ideas to help you get started. Start by clicking Posts in the left navigation. At the top of the next screen, you'll see different post types like Offer and What's New. You may also see an option to create a COVID-19 update. Select the type of post that best fits what you want to say. You also have the option to add a photo or a video. If you add a photo, choose a well-focused image with bright, vibrant colors. You can upload JPEG or PNG formats. Videos add even more life to your post. They can be up to 30 seconds long, 100 megabytes in size, and most standard video file formats are acceptable. Next, you'll write the post. This might be something like what I've written here. We're temporarily closed. Check back for more updates. Depending on the kind of business you own, you can write things like learn how to do a home facial or our dining area is temporarily closed, but we offer takeout and delivery. Finally, you have the option of adding a call to action button. Your button options are things like order online, book now, sign up, or learn more. If you sell products or services, maybe you could use posts to promote gift certificates. So even if customers can't come into your store now, they could use it later. Or you can use it for updates and announcements like expedited shipping or home delivery now available. Or maybe you could promote online events like story time for kids or an online virtual fitness class. If there are other people that help you with your marketing, operations, or customer service, you may want to invite them to help you manage your Google My Business profile. You can do this by clicking Users on the left navigation. When you do that, you'll get a pop-up box with the current users. To add a user, click on the Person icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You'll see the option to add new users. Type in the email address of the person you want to invite and the role you want to assign. There are three options. Owners have full access to the entire profile. Managers have most of the capabilities, but they can't remove the profile or manage other users. 
and site managers can do most things that a manager can do, but they can't edit all the business info. The person you invited will get an email from Google with instructions to get access. They will use their own username and password. You should not share your username and password with anyone else. And as the owner of the business profile, you have the option to revoke someone else's access at any time. Last but not least, if you have questions or need help, you can click support in the left navigation. This gives you access to the help center, the help community, and other available support options. There are other features in Google My Business that we didn't get to today, including messaging, booking and orders, insights, and more. You can learn more about those at support.google.com business. We hope that wherever you are, you're staying healthy and productive. You can find more free resources to help you stay connected by visiting grow.google slash remote work. Thanks for listening, and we hope you check out our other videos.